Okay, so we're talking about talking about uh, converting between percentages, fractions, and decimals. Uh, it's a very straightforward, actually. They're very closely related. So a percentage, by definition, is a fraction out of 100. All right, that's what it is. Just a different notation. You've got this percentage sign on the views. Uh, and that's what I mean. This means a fraction out of 100. Well, okay, so make, to make a percentage into a fraction, put it over 100. So you place the percentage as a the numerator with denominator 100, and then you simplify. Make sure there are no decimals or fractions in the numerator. Okay, so the idea is if you have something like 6.4%, you put 6.4 over 100. We type in the calculator, it actually will do it for you. But the idea is just multiply by 10, get rid of the decimal point, and then simplify the fraction. Okay, and I've got an example down here. So if you have something like 45%, it's very straightforward, it actually equals, so. So 45% equals, you get 45 over 100, then we simplify. You can divide top and bottom by 5, so it's actually going to be 9 over 20. So, sorry, let's rewrite it. It's 45 over 100, which equals 9 over 20. Right, 3.5%, which do 3.5 over 100. Can somebody type that into the calculator? And we'll simplify it for you. 7 over 200. Thank you. So that's how I simplify it. We get 7 over 200. Okay, so that's it. That's in simplest form. 7 and 200 don't have any common factors. So 7 is a prime number. And so that's it. So just make a fraction over 100. Simplify. Not very easy. You can do it in the fraction over 100. So if you want another one, 5.5%. So if you do this, you could write it as 5.5 over 100. So then, well, we need to get rid of this half. So the easiest way is to multiply top and bottom by 2. And so if you put that into your calculator, you get 11 over 200. Right, so again, that's very straightforward. Just finding it as a fraction. Simple. Now the other thing we want to do is change decimals into, so change percentages into decimals. Right, and to do that, all you have to do is divide by 100. When you divide a percentage by 100, you make it into a decimal. Right, so a percentage is out of 100. 100% is the total, the whole. When you talk about decimals, 1 is the whole. 1 is the total. So because it goes from being out of 100 to being out of 1. Right, so... Did you want to that? You come back. Don't worry too much. As long as we have the first two, I wouldn't worry too much. I don't know why I left some space. Okay, so convert a percentage to a decimal, you divide by 100. Divide. Okay. And so 67%, so I divide it by 100, you move to the left two spots, 1, 2, becomes 0 0.67. 3.4%, so I move the two spots. To the left, divided by 100, 0 0.034. Okay, so eventually, I mean, some of you are probably already there. If you're not confident, you eventually get to the stage and it's like, well, I just add in two different places. Well, I just shift it across. Okay, it's just become 0.4%, 0.1%, 5% 0 0.05. Okay? And to convert a fraction or a decimal to a percentage, so this is slightly different. This is going the other way. 
when we convert a fraction or a decimal to a percentage, all you do is multiply it by 100. All right? That's all you have to do. Because like I said, a fraction and a decimal is out of 1. Percentage is out of 100. You get from out of 1 to out of 100, you just multiply by 100. And so the easiest thing to do when you get a question like this, you want to compare decimal fractions with percentages, you want to order them, you just make them all into percentages. If they're not in percentages already. Because that's the easiest thing to do. Percentage, the same denominator, it's all out of 100. We know that we can compare them because it's the same record, the same one. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to convert each one to a percentage. So 0 0.22 repeater equals, well if I multiply it by 100, I move the decimal place to the right, so it's going to be 22.2 repeater percent. That's the first one. 6 over 23. Now, if I multiply, can somebody do that for me? Multiply 6 over 23 with 100. Twenty six and two over twenty three percent. Twenty four percent is a percentage already, so we're going to change it. And what's one quarter as a percentage? One quarter is how many percent? Twenty five. A quarter of a hundred is twenty five. 25%. Alright, so then we can order them. Which is the smallest? We want ascending order, so we need the smallest one. Which is the smallest? Look at this one. 22.2% is the smallest, so this is 1. What's the next one? 24%, so that's 2, and then 3, and this is the largest. Alright? So, of course, you could write it in order as well. Trying to do that. These sort of questions, it's generally good to write it in the original form that you're given. So, I'd do 0 0.2 repeater, writing in ascending order, 24%, and then 1 quarter, and 6 over 3. Yeah, that's the ascending order. Right, so that's the first thing. So I'd like you to, 1.07, not very much at all. Quite quick, so I'm talking about like, it's something you've seen before, you should just be getting quite... So again, if you have any questions, please ask me. So I'd like you to do 1, one to 4, just the first column. Not many questions, and then 5 to 8. And 5 to 8, each is only just one question. You're just working out an order of some numbers. Okay, so it's nothing too strenuous. So I'd like you to do it for about... Uh, 10 or 15 minutes, let's say 12 minutes, and then we'll carry on with the next. Okay?